let's see if this works. Um, here's my Turian model, well, the armor so far. It's my slate material editor. Um, I add the standard map, move it to the right, so just ignore the rest there. I'm just lazy and I hate adding everything again. What we need is a uh, well, the standard map and a diffuse color, but no bitmap like we usually use it, but a mask instead. And the mask uses a mask as well, but for this one we use the bitmap, the diff dip the diff bitmap that we usually use, the TGA file, the Turian Armor CDHB TNT diff in my case. And for the map we use a mix. And this mix, when you double click it, has three different maps on the right side and you add um, RGB tints here. There you go, I just add all three of them and then go from there. Jeez. There we go. Next one, RGB tint. And the next one, RGB tint. There we go. Let's minimize this a little so it's not too huge. Arrange it a little. Okay. Now, now for the RGB tints, we double click the first one. We get another map on the right side that we can add. And here we need the bitmap. And usually I use a, t a tint a TGA, TGA file, but I didn't find one that's called tint, so I just kept looking for the ones called tint and look what they look well checked what they look like, and found a mask TGA file for my Turian armor, and I'm using this one for all three RGB tints. Okay, now let's rearrange this a little. Let's make this a little bigger. So, if we apply this now to our Turian model and render it, we get this. This helps us a little so we can see which is what on the model. And we go back to our slate um, material editor. And I want those bluish parts to be yellowish, so I just go for the blue and try to make them yellowish, right? In all three RGB tints. So we made this for the third one. Now we go to the second one, blue. Want this to be yellow. Of course, you can go by correct numbers or values or whatever. I'm just too lazy right now to do this. Okay, so now let's apply this again. As you can see here, it's yellow. It's a bit light. We're going to change this later. Apply it. Delete this. Then render it again. And then it should be yellow, as you can see. I want the, pl the red and the greenish parts to be black or dark gray. So I go for this again in my RGB tints, go to black for red and for green. And I do this for all three RGB tints. Then apply it again what it looks like. Render it. Oh, we're getting there. Okay, it's a little light. It's not as dark as I like, to like it to be. So we just go into the standard map, double click it, and we have the diffuse color. We just click on the diffuse color. Here you can change it to make it darker. You can change the color if you want. I don't. Just want it to be darker. Then I apply it again. 
deleted, render it. Ah, they're getting there. So basically that's it. What's missing still that I forgot to add is the normal bump with my bitmap bump map file, which is here. But that's basically it. And you can go from there, you can tweak, you can add self illumination, opacity, filter colors, whatever. I hope this helped to get you started with the masking and tinting for the Mass Effect Turian models and Salarians and Asari and whoever is there. Whoever you want to have in 3ds Max. Have fun. <laughs>